What's up guys? It's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. I know a lot of you guys are going back to school this month. Literally, there is a sign across my street that says school starts in five days. <laughs> like what? So I really wanted to give you guys a natural back to school makeup look. Makeup is so expensive and like you're already paying for books and new clothes. So I wanted to keep it really simple for you guys and keep it off from the drugstore. So if you guys want to see how I create a natural back to school makeup look with drugstore products, then just keep watching. As I said in my last video, I don't have a primer that I really love from the drugstore, but I do love this Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. This gives a super natural, just fresh face kind of look. So we're going to dip into this. I'm shade number 15. I'm just gonna use a brush, lightly tap into it, and just start going at it. In the comments below, let me know if you guys would like to see a more glammed outlook, maybe for like your first day of school, or if you guys wanna see like a high end makeup tutorial, or if you want me to challenge myself and try to find a full face of makeup for under $30, let me know down in the comments below because all of those just sound so fun to do. So let me know. Next, I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques makeup sponge and lightly dipping it into the foundation just to get kind of like a small little layer. And then I'm just going to kind of roll it onto my cheeks a bit and blend out the foundation. I like to put a little bit of the product on the sponge because I don't want the sponge picking up any of the foundation I already have on. Don't forget to get down the neck and under the chin and onto the ears as well, just to make sure everything looks beautifully blended. So now that our base is all nice and even, I'm gonna be setting the foundation with a powder. I'm gonna be using the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. I love this compact powder. A little bit goes such a long way and I love how you could just fit it into your purse and touch up throughout the day. I usually use a sponge to touch up throughout the day, but when I'm applying it to set my foundation, I go in with a really nice, big, fluffy kabuki brush and very gently just spread it around. I love this personally because it's instantly mattifying and for someone with oily skin, this is phenomenal. I kind of like tap it onto my skin. I don't really like brush it, more so tap it. So next I like going into bronzer. My favorite has been the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. This is the shade Light. It's so amazing. It gives such a natural bronze to your skin and as someone who hasn't really got out too much in the summer, this just kind of warms up my face a little bit. So just kind of gently do it along the cheeks. Definitely bring it all the way up onto the temples. There's a hair there. I kind of focus on like the letter E. So you go from temple down a little bit to like the middle of your cheek and then down onto your jawline. <laughs> I forgot what it was called for a second. So it kind of creates the letter E. See that? Do you see that? So yeah, kind of follow that guideline. I also kind of like to bring it up onto the forehead as well. Look at all my baby hairs. <laughs> and then if you want to get really fancy, bring it down the sides of your neck. This gives you more of a chiseled look and just kind of matches your neck to your face a little bit better. And then I'm just using the same Kabuki brush. I'm going to go in with some Pixi Glowy Powder. Now this is kind of like a highlight and blush all in one. It's so pretty. This is in the shade Realm Rose. Just gonna take a little bit and I kind of just dust it gently onto the high point of my cheeks. This is definitely more of a highlight, but since I'm not gonna be using blush today, I kind of wanted to put a little bit of pink into my cheeks. And then I also like to bring this up onto the temple as well. And I like to do it down at the center of the nose as well. Like give that like, oh, I just came back from vacation sunburn look. <laughs> Next, I want to focus on the eyes. So we're just going to be keeping it really simple with the eyes. I'm just going to be taking some L'Oreal bronzer just on a shading brush and then applying it to the outer corners and the crease of my eye. For natural looks, I kind of just like to define the eyes and using the bronzer that you used on your cheeks is probably the best and easiest way to go. And then I'm going to go back into the Aspen Glowy Powder from Pixi and do a very light tapping kind of on the lid of the eye. Next, I'm gonna work on the brows. So we're gonna go into this little elf eyebrow kit. This is in the shade dark. It just comes with a pomade and then a powder right here. So I'm just gonna brush through my brows really, really quick and then apply the pomade. Starting kind of 
I wouldn't start at the very beginning of your brow because that's gonna make you look very, very intense, but start kind of off to the side. All I'm gonna really do is kind of just shape my brow and then just kind of take the excess of the pomade and then fill in the brow and brush it out. Then I'm just gonna take a little powder and then kind of use it to fill in the rest of my brows. I love this powder because it just makes your brows look so nice and fluffy. Brows are done looking fabulous. <laughs> Next, I want to do a little bit of eyeliner, so I'm just going to be taking the NYX Slide On Glide On pencil in the shade Brown Perfection. I feel like when you're doing natural looks, stay away from like super dark blacks and everything like that. Going with a shade of brown, it just gives a beautiful, very soft definition to your eyes. I kind of just line the outer third of my bottom lash line and then kind of just only go halfway on the top. Then I'm going to curl the lashes. And then we're gonna be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on our lashes. This is going to really help lengthen and volumize your lashes. Then I'm also gonna be doing the bottom lashes as well. And then we're gonna finish the look off with the Physicians Formula Healthy Lip Velvet in the shade All Natural Nude. I tried this on for the first time in my last video and I've literally like worn it almost every day since. It's literally so amazing. And then I like to go in with my powder again and make sure my bronzer and blush are nicely blended out. So just gently tap in there. Start from the jawline and kind of just swirl your way up just to make sure everything's beautifully blended. All right, I am done. This is the finished look right here. I just think this is such a really pretty, natural, radiant kind of look. And I think it's perfect for back to school because it kind of shows people that yes, this is what you look like, but it also kind of helps cover some of your flaws. All right, so that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really, really does help support my channel. And if you decide to recreate this look, please be sure to take a picture and and tag me on Instagram at InstaAmelia. And question of the video, what is your absolute favorite thing about school? Whether you are done with school, whether you are going to school. I honestly really loved all of the social events, like the dances and the basketball games, all that really fun stuff. I miss that. So be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Amelia. <laughs> if you guys want to see more beauty and lifestyle and just fun videos in general, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that is right down below and if you're already subscribed to my channel and don't want to miss a single video be sure to hit the little bell notification icon next to the subscribe button i hope you guys have a super scholastic rest of your day yes get pumped get ready for school get ready for learning that's all that's all i have to say <laughs> i'll see you guys next time